your show. Oh, by the way, that, that I think really breaks uh, the need to drop it. Who's going to join for this fight? Solo. My solo is going to go down. PC tried to actually draw the aggro. Oh, Raven to just get into the jungle like level 5. He creeps for free. Right. They might just catch Zephyr here. Is careful. 1457 is going to go down pretty quick. Bello. Can't really. Especially if you're not pointing to the neutral camp. Fly solo in trouble once again. They don't even need the dangers from zero. Then you just go into the jungle uh, farm and allow your puck to catch back up and allow him to play like more support. Oh. Look at this rotation from both supports right as Dendi picks up his level six. Just a very perfect try. He through the trees a little bit, get into the tower, and he still has a stick as well as maybe a ravage if they overextend themselves, but he doesn't want to blow it. You saw how much he life steals off of that? Yeah. He like 200 health. They do get a kill on Raven. If he wants 1437, trying to trace Ben Hur as much as possible. Hoping to get a good glimpse, and it's going to be good enough to get Tindy on top of him. The Raps are going to go Ravage. down, catches the Medusa, stopping him from teaming out. Ember Spirit's going to Part of that is just the fact that they have taken two different towers. While uh, detonators have yet to be able to grab anything just yet. Sam H gets caught by the first static storm there. 1430. They've got to be careful. Zephyr's really far forward. He's definitely going to get punished for this. Good catch by Skep. If you see your tie TP, four detonators. So they're going to go back in here. Sam H catching 1437 off the TP. Double chains up the top of the Rod of Atos onto that Ember Spirit. Fortunately, he got the Flame Guard off. And doesn't don't quite take have a whole the damage, lot of damage anymore. Fellow's just walking in though, does have the ulti. He's gonna be able to catch the 1437 one more time with a glimpse back in a TP way. He's gonna be good. There goes that Ravage locking down the Vengeful Spirit. Goes down, gets a magic missile off first. Now with that epicenter slowing down Denny, they really want this kill. They know that Denny's been pretty farmed up through this game. They will be able to kill him. Bill actually coming over to try and Despite the fact that Raven has been totally free farming. He's gonna push back RR here, but he is gonna be a little bit caught. And the rest of his team is way too far away. There's no way they can get to him in time. He's gonna try and go for the Manta Sunder. Can't actually get it. Zephyr actually completed that TP. The rest of the team is now here. And detonators have definitely read that Bello is here and they do not want to get caught by a big ravage. Looks like he may just leave the Vengeful Spirit behind here. Who's gonna try and duck into the trees, hide away, but is pulled back by the glimpse. No chance of getting out. I mean he doesn't care. Fight time here at the top lane potentially. They're just gonna lead off the Static Storm, catching up Scamp. Scamp does not have a flame guard. They're gonna throw down the Ravage. Can they burst him down in time? They are gonna be able to do Sam so. So unlucky. He already came in with the episode. Battle with this Dusa, who, you know, she's already level 15. Yeah. That that talent is a killer for for her high ground pushes. Oh, uh -oh. nice coil. That is gonna be coil snapping on a lot of people. Look at that. That AOE magic damage is doing so much work. 1437 as well as Dendi. Looks like they may be left behind. Pretty easy to, to dodge the, the Ravage when he's just kind of walking at you. But a Blink Ravage may make a difference. Zephyr's going to get picked off in the bottom lane. He sort of picks on these. This is where this smoke gank has got to work out for Tigers. They're going to push into the high ground. They're going to find RR. Now lock him down with a Static Storm. Good swap, though, from the Vengeful Spirit. We'll be able to save. Trade out the five. The four meta. Like they just want to go in. Going in for Roshan right now. They have all their spells. It's going to be a four on five. They're going to find 1437 first. Getting quite low 80 HP to him. Can they get it to Roshan before it dies? It's the gaze versus four now. They are going to be able to get the gaze out. Medusa just running inside. Doesn't actually run inside the pit. Ravage goes down and they will be able to pick up that Aegis. Raven now She's locked committed. down. Okay, man to pop the Manta to get rid of that Rod of Atosa. In the back line, the Ember Spear trying to finish off that Viper. Ben Hur completely out of mana though and being chased by Velo. RR jumps right on top of that tight Hunter trying to get away from Raven. And it looks like this sink. They still want to defend their mid tower as well, though. Which is where that push is coming in. Medusa swap back and fly solo. Tries to get the pick off on it. Nice he's going to be saved by the Static Storm, though. 1437 getting this lockdown on Sam H. Now, Sam H is super tanky, so he will be able to burrow strike back and still have decent HP until that glimpse comes in. Now, the swap back, he just gets zapped all over the place, but will be able to escape once again. She's got such a big HP pool that you're essentially just giving her a Radiance, right? You're just going to yeah. keep taking damage over time. It's good against the Illusion. This coil is used here. And the Snap. It's the first time that we've seen the coil swap. Where might just actually cost some lives here. Zephyr, aggressive TP and fly solo. 
pushes himself up onto the high ground here. But again, as you said, you said Vengeful Spirit's line doesn't matter that much. Now, our wait, Hyde's gonna be able to catch him. Oh. As it is. Scam. Oh, got pushed out. It's gonna be able to remnant on top of Zephyr and with the Yules. Stops him once again. We did have a coil coming out. They're gonna get plus one here as 1437 drifts a little bit too close and RR. Looking to be able to snatch that one up now. 1437 has no real way to get out of here. And they're so. ping mid too. Whoa! They're saying, go on, Dendi. Tigers, what is happening? One pickoff turns to two. Is it going to be three or is it going to be a massive turnaround? The Ravage goes down onto two on top of the Nether Toxin. Sam H, another Toxin pursuing him out. Fortunately, he is so tanky. He'll have a chance he'll be able to survive until the tide catches up again. With that, Scotty. I'm going to run into 1437 first, the rest of his team in the back line, Dendi. Oh, the first strike whiz there from Sam H, despite the vision that they had, they also didn't get a good pull out. What happens here, Detonators? They got into what was supposed to be a good fight, and it turns into disaster for them. The buyback from 14 is going to run out soon. Uh, Scam trying to catch. Definitely big one. Scam just dives right in, trying to catch as many heroes as possible, and as they turn, there goes the stone gaze. Ben Hur continues to pursue Dendi. His damage is not great with the Crimson Guard, but eventually, oh, never mind. With the Ravage going out, they're quickly going to turn on this Medusa, who pops the Manta, still trying to finish off Dendi, who's still somehow alive, but Scam will be able to kill one, but our Medusa is quickly falling as the Scythe has are controlled up. There's just too many heroes up. There it is, 1,000 mana. Oh, that's going to be tough to beat. They are going to be able to catch out, fly solo. That four staff will definitely not save him. <laughs> Man, you're not going to live. Oh, okay. That's one sign. Another sign. RR tries to come in, disrupt things, and the episode are actually going down. They beat it on Skim, and maybe they can turn things around at least to be able to kill the Furion here. Bellow kind of sees out of the question so far, but the Furion is definitely a pickoff. Now they can just get out, use all that mobility to be able to get away, unless Sam H gets caught by the glyphs. So it will be a trade off. That's a Shiva's soon for the Viper. They'll have, uh, Look at okay. that, my soul is dead. <laughs> Took like three seconds. But he can still get the glyphs in. BKB TP out. I mean, at still, least he got something. Yeah, that's a nine second BKB forced out. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. No? Like, they're, no, no. I think they're semi okay with that trade. 1437, coiled up again, just like last time. Velo may be there, but they're just gonna ignore him. Kill He's trying to force them over here. He's, He's gonna get out of the sprout. Good play from Zephyr. That's gonna be side one. Ravage out, and finally, Scam, who had been causing him, will be able to get one side into the second one. The Yule Scepter goes off, actually making sure the Ravage doesn't go down. Nice two man pro strike in the back line by Sam H. Gonna be activated. Static Storm goes out, but the BKBs are already in. Bello is gonna be able to get off the Ravage, get swapped back into his death. Raven. Standing tall with that metamorphosis, but his damage, he can't really lay it into the Medusa. She's too tanky. Now the epicenter is going to come in and make sure the backline, again, always Bello going for the switchy backline. The Ravage goes in for Bellow. Raven is now able to kill another support. The scores, they have to kill Sam H at the bare minimum. They, they will be able to do that much. Asunder on to Ben Hur. Brings Raven back up to full HP. Now with Glimpse as well. More staff into the high ground. Good play from Ben Hur. And now he's hitting from that high ground. Raven is pursuing all the way. Really needs to be able to kill this Dusa, but he's getting dodged up too much. There's too many stuns for him. He's laying the damage now into the silence. The silence. It finally worked. The Nether Toxin 25 talent makes sure that Skimberlu cannot get away as the Amber Spirit. He's going to be forced in the buyback with a two man stun. Once again, Satanic activated. They're controlling up Raven, making sure he can't lie steal. Even the Spirit Vessel being laid in to make sure he doesn't lie steal that much. Yule Scepter on himself allows the Pucks to be able to survive. Finally, it's going to be the Ages. Two man bar strike in his back line again. There's going to be Denny as well as 1437, who are both going to die here. A stun onto Raven, make sure he can't TP out. That's going to be two deaths for him. And Aegis, a refresher shard, a cheese, it doesn't seem to matter. Detonators are still able this to make the buyback on the Tidehunter. And 15 minutes with a dieback on Tide. It is looking like this game has thoroughly turned around. Detonators. They are all in on the damage now for Ben Hur. Loaded up, going to the high ground. Sam H starts landing with Bro Strike. Lockdown onto two. Dendi trying to get back to the Sam H. Actually turning. He's going to go for our arc with the Yule Scepter. Get on the buyback. It's over. Dendi, he's dead as well. No buybacks whatsoever.